Hi, this is Angie from Concord and Ninth. Today I'm here to walk you through our May 2018 new product release. This month we have four product bundles, including our popular turnabout stamps. However, this time we've added in a turnabout stencil pack, which allows for fun techniques and even more than four colors with our typical turnabouts. I will be sharing a few details about each of these products and showing you some projects today, but be sure to check out each individual product page for more inspiring projects and even how-tos on how to use these products. Here is our bold and brushy bundle. We love alphabets. You have all seemed to love our sophisticated script bundle and perfectly pen stamp set. So we just had to design one that was well, bold and brushy. Hand lettering is an art and something I cannot achieve with my own skills. I need stamps in my life to help me customize sentiments on my cards and even monograms on tags and other things. The lowercase letters will connect when stamped and the uppercase looks great at the beginning of a word used in conjunction with the lowercase or used together on their own for all cap sentiments too. The uppercase letters fit inside these frames and this swash is a great backdrop for adding fun color behind the letters. Let me show you some things. Okay, here this is stamped with all lowercase. This bold and brushy is stamped with upper and lower. So we've added in the uppercase Bs. Here is one that is all uppercase, which looks really cute. Here I mentioned that the uppercase fits inside those little frames right here. That's great for doing little monograms. Here we've added the touch of color behind each letter with this rectangle swash. And then here's some other things to note. We did include in the stamp, the lowercase set, a double T and a double L. That way, when you're stamping out the word hello, you don't have to stamp the L twice and the L's look different from each other, which makes it look more like really hand lettered. Another thing to note is there are two letter R's in your lowercase set. Okay, one is for the beginning of a lowercase word. The other one is for the middle of a word. Let me show you. So this word red, is you'd use the R at the beginning. And the word orange has this R in the middle. Okay, so you've got two different, this one is without a tail and this one has it. That way you know which R to use when you're stamping. And then also one thing you can do is you can decide, um, you can stamp it along in a straight line and they're all connected together, but it makes it um, look really uniform. Or you can kind of jog your letters up and down, makes it look a little more playful. Let me show you some examples of some fun projects that have been made. So here we've connected the lowercase, spelled out celebrate. This cute card here uses that hello with the double L's. Okay, and that last layer, I don't know if you can tell, that's gold embossed. Super cute. This one is a combination of uppercase and lowercase. You've got the uppercase Mary, lowercase Christmas, and actually this little asterisk in here is in the lowercase set over here. Quick and simple. Here is a really cute birthday card that uses both uppercase and lowercase together. So they are sized so that you can fit, you know, nice size words with the uppercase all the way across. And yes, that is stamped and then fussy cut. That is really cute. Here's one with that fun swash behind it. It literally just takes minutes to make this card and that cute heart is also in the uppercase set. Here we've gone ahead and made like a stationary pack and just um, put the little frame with a monogram in the top. This would make a really great gift for somebody. And then here we have personalized the envelope and look how cute that is. This word friend actually we mounted all of the uppercase letters on one block and stamped it down. So that won't work for your lowercase because you need to connect them with the little tails but it does work for the uppercase and is that is super cute to customize for somebody. 
So the possibilities are endless with these bold and brushy alphabets. What will you spell? Here we have our geode bundle. This stamp set was designed with coloring enthusiasts in mind. It is really cool to color in the oval or the heart-shaped geodes with markers, colored pencils, alcohol markers. It's especially fun to try the alcohol reinker techniques and embossing too. You can send cards of encouragement with sentiments like, you are beautiful inside and out, or stay strong, and thank you cards with Thanks for being my rock. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> the dies cut around the oval and the heart shaped rocks and includes a die cut sentiment, you are a rare find. Let me just show you a few of the step outs here. So like I said, you've got this die that will die cut around that large geode that's been stamped. You can also die cut the heart. We also included another littler heart so you can die cut the middle of that one out. So you can use this piece or you can also use the little die cut heart that comes out of it and like layer that on top if you want. And then I also mentioned it does have the sentiment, you are a rare find and that is all connected together. It's all one piece. So that makes it really fun. Let me show you some projects that we've made using this bundle. Look at this beautiful card. Isn't that really fun? So we just stamped it down in the black and did a fun watercolor wash over the top of it and then layered that die cut with white and also the navy so that it really pops. Here's another example of a light watercolor wash behind it just kind of applying the color. This is actually gold embossed. I don't know if you can see that on the video there. So the hearts are gold embossed and then we just layered, um, laid down that color. Looks really fun. Here is one where we've just stamped hearts in the background and then actually layered this up with different um, card stocks and also that's a glitter paper on top. This one we did show in our sneak peek. This is with that alcohol technique, so, or uh, re-inker technique. So this is just absolutely beautiful. We did a black embossing first, and then you just put down drops of your color and kind of spread that around with your brush. It is seriously stunning. Here's another one where we've done the alcohol re-inker technique on the heart, and then with that little heart window, we made it into a little shaker. You can see the little bits of confetti in there. Here is one where we've done the watercoloring technique and added that beautiful, those crystals that you see inside the geodes with um, chunky glitter. And then this one is really fun. So it starts out like this, you are beautiful inside and out. So don't forget to decorate the insides of your cards too. I think this one is really fun. Okay, do you already have techniques in mind to try with this beautiful Geo Bundle? We cannot wait to see the projects that you create. Introducing our Mixtape Bundle. Here is a blast from the past. Are you ready to party like it's 1989? This stamp set is jammed with fun images and sentiments to create your own playlist for birthdays, thank yous, and cards for friendship. The heart and hello tape tangles come out of the bottom of the cassette tape. The larger sentiments fit across the tape top, and these little ones fit across the playlist lines. This little rectangle helps you add color to the tape or the tape sticker to really capture those 80s vibes. Use the coordinating dies to die cut the outer edge of the cassette and the tape gears, plus add a touch of dry embossing with this piece. Let me show you some more details. Okay. Let me, when you stamp this and then the outside detail piece, and then like I talked about, those three little rectangles can stamp along the side there, then you get a completed cassette tape. 
You've got the heart and the hello tape tangles that come out the bottom of the tape. These sentiments in the stamp set fit across the top of the cassette tape there. You've got these larger sentiments that fit across the cassette tape there, and then these little ones right here, like THX, HB, which stands for Happy Birthday, and BFF, can fit right there below it. And then, like I mentioned, those little sentiments fit in those playlist lines, so you can customize your cards. Let me show you a little bit of details about the dies. Okay. So you've got this piece here that just cuts right around the stamped cassette tape. You can just stamp it all and then die cut it out. Or you can use this piece along with this piece and also this and this piece. Like I mentioned, this one has the little embossing lines. I don't know if you can see that. So it will um, give an embossed look to your cassette tape. So this one hasn't been stamped at all, but you can still make it look like a cassette tape just with all of your die cuts. Or you can do both. You can stamp it and then do your die cutting. So you still get the tape in there and then you've got the embossed, see if I can show you that. You've got the embossed look of the cassette tape through your die. Then I'm just gonna pull this over. You've got all these fun little confetti pieces so you've got the words you rock, which that also does fit right across the top of your tape right there. And then you've got hearts and stars and musical notes that make for really fun confetti to add to your cards. Let me show you some projects that have been made. So here's a simple card um, with the heart tangle coming out the bottom and just stamp down. We're a good mix. Then here's another way that you can use that tape tangle. Just mask off the ends where it usually connects up through the tape and just stamp it right across the top. And then add your words down at the bottom. Super cute. Here's a combination of stamping and the die cuts. So you've got um, your musical notes that add some fun dimension. Here we've um, stamped and die cut the cassette tape. We've added in the fun little heart and then created our own little background. This is the same type of card, but we've instead we've added um, details on the background with the die cuts, and then just tucked our little playlist in there. Super cute. I mean, it says thank you mix, and it says much gratitude, all the thanks, you're the best. Turns out really fun. Look how fun these are, okay? So you've got these little note cards. These are actually, I'm gonna set these down. This is folded. Okay, so you can just make a cute little note card to give somebody in a variety of colors. Here's one where we've actually used the negative space and die cut the words here. We've die cut and embossed the cassette tape, added our stamping in, and then you can definitely decorate the inside with your playlist. Okay, and here's a really fun one to show you what to do with all that fun confetti. So you rock, we've added stamping on the background strip there and then made it into a fun little shaker card. Okay, did these projects rock your world? How many mixtape playlists will you be making? Be sure to show us by tagging Concord and Ninth. Here is our Retro Petals Turnabout Bundle. You know we had to create another turnabout, but there is something special about this one. Rather than a coordinating die, we've created a three pack of stencils, one of which is also a turnabout. In the stamp set, you not only get this large petal turnabout, but you have nice sentiments too. You can mix and match a couple of the sentiments too, like sending happy thoughts or hugs for you. This does work like a traditional turnabout using a jig. If you are unfamiliar with how our turnabouts work, check out our turnabout tips and tricks video to learn to turn. Also, be sure to reference the back side. This is a, um, for you to line up your turnabout, but again, watch that video online. 
Okay, this is our turnabout stencil. This one right here, of the three pack, there's one of them that's a turnabout. This allows you to swap out one stamped rotation with a stencil for fun techniques like embossing paste or to add even more than four colors. This can be used with or without the stamp set too. Just make sure you use a 90 degree angle as your hard edge to keep it straight. No jig is required and you don't even need to mark it with an X like the stamp. Stencil number two is a diamond shape that helps you add color to the middle of the stamped turnabout or stencil designs, or it can also be used on its own for a cool background. Stencil number three are the add-ons. You can build little tulips and add the big word hugs to your projects. Let me show you a few more details about these. Okay, like I mentioned, this one is kind of the add-on stencil. Okay, so you can stencil this cute word hugs. You can also combine that word hugs with the stamp set. Okay, so you've got sending hugs. Combine those two together. Then you can use like this. Here, let me pick this up. This right here is the large tulip that's on the stencil. Plus you can create little rows of tulips. So you've got your row of little tulip leaves here and then the toppers or another flower. So there's the tulips, there's the other cute little flower, and then we've got these little polka dots that you can add into just to give it a little bit more color. So that's one of the stencils. Here is the diamond stencil that I was talking about. Okay, so when you just lay that down and then apply color, you get these fun little diamond shapes, which is a really fun background. Or you can step it up by alternating it. So you've stamped this one and then what you do is you just shift your stencil down and add in your second round of color and now you've got a more colorful background with more diamonds. Okay, another thing that this one does, now this is this has been stamped with the turnabout stamp for rotations and it gives you those four colors. Okay, the orange, red, the kind of the suede color and the blue. That is with the, stamp, the turnabout. Now what you can do is take this stencil, the diamond, and lay that down in between to add even more color to your background. So you've gone from this with the turnabout, adding in the stencil, you can add in all that more color with the diamond shaped right in the middle. Super fun. Okay, now let me show you the actual turnabout stencil. Okay. So, like I mentioned, you have your stencil, and as long as you corner this, so I've just got a probably a six by six square piece of paper. You can tape this down if you want. I didn't even tape this when stamping it. As long as you set that down and you always line it up on the edge of that paper, you don't need to mark an X and you don't need a jig, okay? You're just gonna add in your color. What's nice about using the stencil, as with the turnabout stamp, where it adds in the four colors with the four rotations, you can customize this. So we've done the three rows of yellow, two rows of orange, and two rows of red. And then what you'll do is you'll rotate it the same, you know, you'll still rotate the same direction every time. And then add in your color again, do yellow, orange, and red. Rotate that four times, and what you end up with is this. So the difference is you've got four colors this way with the turnabout, or with your stencil, you can create like an ombre effect. Okay, now one other thing you can do with this, this has been stamped three times with the stamp, the turnabout stamp. We left the fourth one blank so that you can add in, let me see where this lines up here. Uh, I'll get it one of these turns, right? Anyway, you get the idea. We left that other one blank so that you can line it up. And what we did is we added in that last layer is done with text, um, embossing paste. So it just gives it that really fun texture and a unique look. You can't do that with your turnabout stamp. You can emboss that last one, but this is actual embossing paste. Okay, here is another example. 
Oh gosh, now I'm getting my designs mixed up here. Oh, I had another one to show you. Oh, you guys. Oh, here it is. I think. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I got them all mixed up. Okay, so we did the three turns with the stamp. And then this last one, um, so that we added in more colors. So you've actually got like a suede, a yellow, and like a co fun coastal color. Oh my goodness. There we go. So now I've got this lined up. So you can actually see where this row is with like a suede color, this row is with yellow, and this row is with coastal. So this is how you can add in more than just the four colors on your turns. Okay, and again, like I said, you are just going to line that up down in the corner of your paper and just make sure it's lined up every time and do the four turns and you'll be able to rotate that stencil. But this is the only one in the pack that does the turning. Let me show you some actual finished projects. Okay, here is a fun card that this is using the turnabout stamp and this big happy thoughts makes it just such a cute background paper. Here is the turnabout, but um, if you can see closely, I'll bring it a little closer. There's some added like sponged details on that turnabout. That is using the stencil, okay? So we've stamped it and then you go in um, and either with a marker or a sponge, you can add in some shading. Okay, and that congrats is also from our new Bold and Brushy alphabet. So cute. Oh, and then also don't forget the little polka dots. That comes from the stencil pack. Here is a fun card that's using the turnabout stamp. We've just made a fun little shaker with that sentiment there behind. Okay, I mentioned before that that diamond shaped stencil can be used on its own. So we've just um, done some embossing paste and also some um, added ink with sponges. Here's a cute little die and then your sentiment comes from the stamp set. So that makes a really fun background. This one is using the turnabout stamp and that diamond shaped stencil in conjunction with the hugs. Notice how the hugs has an ombre and then we've added in sending from the stamp set. Here is the one that we did show on our sneak peek also that has that layer of embossing paste. If you can see the texture on there and sending happy thoughts. Okay, this one is fun. Look, it's just made like that um, twisted crepe paper. If you just do one um, direction, isn't that cute? Okay, this is just using the stencil. So you've got hugs going on in the background and then you have that flower stencil. And then we've added in, I miss your face from the stamp set. Okay, this is using that technique, like I said, with um, the stencil. It's using this. So rather than like three rows, you would just do um, your spectrum of colors. Isn't that really cute? So fun. Again, this is just using the stencil. We've made the rows of leaves and added some random tulip tops and the cute little polka dots and then the sentiment from the stamp set. And here's another one where it uses that diamond shaped stencil background to do some, I'm um, just like, it's white pigment ink on top of cardstock and then adding in those cute tulips from the stencil as well. Okay. Who is excited to try many techniques with this Retro Petals Turnabout Bundle? We cannot wait to see all the colorful retro projects that you create. Okay, here it is, our full May 2018 new product release. We hope you are as excited as we are to use these new products. Be sure to check out each individual product page in our shop for inspiring projects and how-tos. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. Tag us when you make projects too. Use hashtag Concord and Night. Happy crafting!